Now let's have a look at the next topic that's the versatile nature of carbon. Now in the previous video we've discussed how carbon uh, forms covalent bonds and carbon does not form ions so it does not form ionic compounds and for the covalent bonding video please check out my video on covalent bonding that's in my series for chemical bonding I'll put the link in the description below and I've done the same for the previous video so you can check it out thank you. So versatile nature of carbon. Versatile. The word versatile means different, unique. So how can we say that carbon is a versatile element? Is there any special property carbon possesses that makes it versatile, that makes it unique when compared to other elements? Before we look into that, let's try to look into why we say carbon is versatile. Carbon, the element, the very small atom, it's very, very small. The small element, very small element, forms more than million compounds. More than a million compounds. Some of which have not even been discovered. So carbon forms millions of compounds. Carbon is one of the most versatile elements. Carbon forms the most compounds and is one of the elements which forms the most compounds in the periodic table. If you compare all other elements of the periodic table then too you will see that not even them all together can form as many compounds as carbon that's why we've dedicated one whole branch of chemistry that is organic chemistry to the study of carbon and its compounds so carbon forms many 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 compounds but how is it able to form these compounds that's the question so let's have a look at the answer carbon has a unique nature because it has two very, very unique properties, two properties which are very rare. So the unique properties of carbon are what Na is what uh, are the properties that enable carbon to form so many compounds. So unique properties of carbon. So there are two main unique properties of carbon. Right? Two unique properties of carbon. The first one is tetravalency. It is also called tetracovalency. Okay, so can you guess what this means? Well, the word tetra means four. So can you guess now? And valency means, you know, bonding. So tetra and valency or covalency. This word tetra means four. And valency means, well, it's a reference to bonding. So from this, you can understand that tetravalency basically means its ability to form four covalent bonds to complete its octet because it needs four electrons, as we saw in the previous video. It has an electronic configuration of 2,4 and it needs four more electrons to complete its octet. It shares electrons with other atoms and during that time, it forms four covalent bonds. So Tetracovalency or tetravalency means that carbon is able to form four covalent bonds. So it forms four covalent bonds. Right? It is one of the only, it is one of the very few elements that are able to form so many covalent bonds. Right? It is able to form four covalent bonds. <clears throat> So that's one very, very unique property of carbon. Okay, it can form four covalent bonds, tetravalency. This enables it to form many, 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 many compounds. Next is, the next property is very unique, very rare, very, very, very rare. And that is called catenation. Okay, so what does this word mean? Well, you cannot figure out anything without knowing its meaning, right? Can you? Nothing, sorry. So catenation, what does this catenation mean? Now, carbon can form bonds with many, 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 many elements. It can form bonds with oxygen. It can form bonds with, not with fluorine. It can form bonds with nitrogen. It can form bonds with, well, uh, hydrogen. So it can form so many bonds with so many different atoms. But the very, very unique property of carbon is that it can form bonds with other carbon atoms too. So you can have a bond of carbon and carbon or carbon double bond carbon or carbon.
carbon triple bond carbon where this is two electrons being shared this is four electrons being shared and this is six electrons being shared three each two each and one each so you can see carbon can form bonds with other atoms of carbon too this is what we call catenation property so it is the ability the ability to form to form bonds with other atoms of the same element of the same element this is what we call the catenation property right and carbon shows this property carbon can form bonds with other atoms of carbon and due to this it is able to form due to this catenation carbon forms chains of carbon so you can have carbon like this see a chain of carbon it can form rings so if you look at rings it can form rings like this right and then it can also form branched chains so for branch chains it can form a chain like this and this is the branch for the chain and this is another branch for the chain right so carbon can form chains rings branches with other atoms of carbon and it can form so many so many so many compounds and very very long compounds too sometimes if you look at an organic compound of carbon mm -hmm. such as atp let's have a look at atp now we know atp atp is adenosine triphosphate it is the energy currency of the cell if you recall in biology we have studied this the formula for atp well be ready because it's going to be long and i'll need some space for it so atp formula atp adenosine triphosphate formula is c10 h16 n50 o13 p3 please don't think i have copied this from somewhere i remember this formula c10 h16 n50 o13 p3 this is the formula for adenosine triphosphate and you can see this is a carbon compound it contains carbon but look at the length of this compound and i mean come on if you start drawing the lewis dot structure of this compound well it's going to go to stretches i tell you it's going to be really really long so you can see that carbon because of catenation property because of these 10 atoms of carbon can form such big large long compounds as well and a large number of compounds so this is the two properties of carbon which enable it to gain a versatility and a unique nature and also to form many 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 compounds tetracovalency and catenation property thank you bye bye